Hello, everybody. This is Martin Meyer speaking from Vizlib. Today, I'm going to introduce to you the Vizlib table extensions for ClickSense, part of the Vizlib library. The goal of the session is to introduce to you and familiarize you with all the capabilities, options, and functionality that the Vizlib table brings to you in ClickSense. Furthermore, I'll walk you through all the various rich customization options, as well as show you some of the cool use cases of how it can be used. Looking at my screen right now, we are directly jumped into ClickSense. If you look at the feature here, which is called the grid size, you can recognize immediately that we are in April 2018. Visible table works on all versions, so you don't have to worry about that. What you see here on the screen is uh, a classic table natively uh, out of the box, which supports one dimension in this particular example and three metrics against it. So we have sales reps that are listed against their average sales, their budget, which is at a percentage representation, and the sales amount. And this table is very quick to create, drag and drop, add dimensions, measures, perhaps a little bit of formatting. So very, very good for ad hoc analysis and to quick sense check your numbers and your data model underneath it, right? But once you've created this uh, table, and let's say you like the numbers, you will want to share this. You will want to present this to your stakeholders, managers, a presentation, or you will want to push this to production, perhaps as part of an app uh, that gets released to 300 to 400 people. So that's when you are a little bit more interested and conscious of the design and the look and the feel of a table. And when it comes to formatting, natively out of the box, you're a little bit limited. You can perhaps go into the individual metrics, look at the background color expression, something you can change, you can change the text color expression, but that's pretty much it, right? If you go into sorting, there's nothing there. Add-ons lets you suppress the nulls. Appearance, but appearance also only lets you, you know, show and hide the totals. And that's where the journey with Vizlib comes into play. So on the left-hand side, you will have a list of all the available Vizlib extensions. And the table in particular will then allow you to drag and drop it, hover over the existing click sense chart and convert it. And the first thing that changes is nothing. We replicate existing functionality. We make sure that the look and feel is maintained when you migrate it. However, now that this is a visible table, you can see on the right hand side on the property panel that all of a sudden we have many more options. So for example, you can look at the individual rows, you can change the row height, the size, make them bold, change the background color. Same also goes for the headers and the totals alike, right? So it's very, very similar to how Excel is ultimately structured, or even a little bit like click view. So what you're able to do here is, for example, very easily, right, go into the background color, pick a color of your choice. Let's say I'm going to reuse blue that I used in another part of the dashboard and immediately changes the background color. We're going to do the same thing for a font color, change that one to white. And you see, with just a couple of clicks, no coding required, you immediately, you know, give it a little bit of more a design feeling than, uh, than it is as a plain table, right? And it looks much more appealing. So this is around formatting, right? But let's take it a little bit further, right, when it comes to functionality. When we look at the budget, this is a percentage representation. If you want to see who has the highest budget or the lowest one you want to compare, it becomes very difficult because you need to do it row by row in this particular case. So what we thought is, all right, we have something, you know, if you go into budget, you have naturally all the various options around uh, formatting, you can add tooltips, you can add, you know, change the color of the width naturally. However, we also have something that we call the representation type. So instead of looking at the column as a text, perhaps you can look at it as a progress bar. So with just one click, you can immediately transform your table into your budget column into a bar chart, which showcases to you with just one glance that actually Brenda Gibson is by far the largest budget holder compared to the rest of the collection here. Again, you can reuse your colors as before. You can reuse the blues to make sure that you have a consistent look and feel and many more options around it. Same also goes with the sales amount, right? So this is a, a static metric. This is a total uh, for each individual sales rep. Um, but what perhaps you wanna look at it over a time scale, right? You wanna see how it trends. So if you look at the sales amount, you can drive into it. And again, under representation type, look at the mini charts. The mini chart, one of the very popular features and 
also popular also in click view if you remember them you can click on this and it prompts you to choose a time dimension of your choice and with just a couple of you know you pick it you type in your year month in here and with just one click you immediately transformed your sales amount into a line chart again you can reuse the same colors as before and play around with them you have simple styling you have advanced styling if you want to uh, highlight the low lights or its individual data points you have full control over how your mini chart is presented on the table but point here is that with just a couple of clicks no coding required you created something which was a very plain and simple table into something which is visually much more appealing and helps you communicate uh, complex data much more compelling so in that sense, you know, let it go, play around with the features, and then you could create something which is as amazing as this table here, which we call the Bloomberg table, uh, closely aligned to the Bloomberg tem terminal, which has a back bar background and uh, orange text color. It's because I guess traders are looking at the screen all day long, you know, it's just to not make sure that they don't get too tired. But, you know, it illustrates you have indicators if something goes up or goes down. You have individual bar charts as well with a tooltip, but also you can showcase two multiple lines within one uh, in that particular case. Um, also, you know, various other options um like for example you can embed uh, email addresses in here so if someone clicks on that it op opens your email outlook that then prompts you to send an email and many more and um, to give you an example of you know another very cool feature on the table is the bullet chart that we introduced uh, in december last year so that was actually as part of a customer request uh, they had you know a target they wanted to see an actual against it and they want to see whether or not it was within the tolerance zone so that's what we created here as an example and you see italy mexico and spain it's underneath the target that's why they're in colored in red right um you can also see that the year-on-year -year growth for each of these countries uh, is, you know, has dropped or has increased. And, you know, indicators like these help very quickly, you know, to communicate that information there. Obviously, you know, a trend line showcases you for a very long time period, you know, how things have evolved or have they have remained static. And you can hover over these data points on a visual basis. Looks really good. And that's ultimately what drives business adoption. Um, and yeah, we have also, you know, experimented and we have one of our esteemed friends and colleagues, uh, Ryan Arpa, who took our table and he, you know, created actually a very, very cool looking uh, Premier League table. So these are the Premier League uh, fixtures from uh, last year. So you have the scoring as, as well as the matches. And, you know, you can see you can practically achieve anything you want to. Again, no coding required, just by fiddling and modifying and uh, configuring your chart, you can achieve something like uh, as, as that ultimately. And the beautiful thing is, is that you combine now full customization options and features on top of click, right? Because now if I select, let's say Chelsea, uh, you can, make a selection of a data model interactively reacts and it associates it with all the matches that Chelsea has played in. So you have a full power of click based on top of really, really visually compelling uh, reports. Uh, same goes also vice versa. If you choose to match Arsenal versus Crystal Palace, you can click on this and you can see the various rankings as well associated to it. So I hope I inspired you for some really cool stuff. Uh, these examples are all available. Uh, please go to our website, www.vizlib.com and download our Vizlib package. It's free for up to five users. So there's no limitation if you want to try on your desktop or with a couple of colleagues. All these example apps I've just showcased are all available for you. So you, can, you just need to upload them to your server or install them on your ClickSense uh, desktop folder and have a play around with them. And you know, I'm very looking forward to hear what you can achieve with those charts. Thank you very much. And please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.